Hello guys and welcome to Piano Stop. I'd like to congratulate for deciding to do your grade one exam. It's a great step forward and it's a great uh, certificate you have and it's very, very rewarding. So for those who are actually uh, considering to take a piece called Canaris, we, I'm talking about the grade one and uh, A2 piece. Uh, it's a great choice, it's a bright and joyful piece. Bear in mind, Canaris, it's a piece for lute. Now, lute is actually a string instrument. Looks like a guitar if you look for, for the first glance, but it's not like a guitar. I suggest you to get into that sound, to get into that feel. Watch some original videos, some professional lute performers. You will get a better hint. So it's a sort of an old-fashioned dance here. So um, those kind, this kind of music used to be played in uh, parties, like we have party music. So in those times, they had a party music. A nine one five eighty oh that's long time ago. Uh, okay, let's talk a little bit about um, um, what will you gain when you play this piece. You actually will gain lots of precision because there are lots of staccato notes, and you would need to get light and crispy sound just just imitate a little bit lute sound. So it's a brilliant piece to master that skill. Then, so I'm gonna actually give you a quick demo how it should sound like a prox that whole joyful piece. So I'm gonna give you four bars. So that's the whole sort of story, that's the whole character. Uh, looking at the key signatures, um, it's written in G key. I'm gonna shoot straight to the last bar, which goes to the G chord. And F sharp in front it suggests that it's a G major, G major key. And I can't see actually any accidentals. So there is no temporary changes of the key whatsoever. So it's great to have that solid G key throughout the piece. Then, um, first suggestion is get into that key mark F sharps in the notation. Don't miss them out. Fiddle around the G scale. So the key is very simple, there is not much to talk about the key, but then I'm going to talk a bit about the time signature, which is a very unusual one for the grade 1. It's 6-8. That makes two dotted crotchets in a bar, you would feel two beats. So it goes. It might find, you might find it complicated at first, especially playing those... notes my suggestion is subdivide each beat in three quavers counting one two three one two three one two and three one two three and you're gonna get there another rhythmical challenge is when the left takes over dotted notes like for example bar bar nine and then there's a trill Carrying, carrying on on 11, the tune is in the left. So practice carefully your left hand just to get those dotted notes right. Uh, well, this piece should be played lightly, elegantly, with, uh, with energy and with a sense of joy and dance-like feel. A very great choice, a, a kind of a challenging piece, but if you mastered it, you are actually step forward in your with your piano skills. Good luck and enjoy.